Hi, my name is Vincent Rajkumar. I'm a professor of medicine at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. And I'm here at the annual meeting of the American Society of Hematology. And I'll of course discuss with you some of the new findings in myeloma that are being presented at this meeting. There are many interesting studies being presented. Some of the most interesting to me uh, are discovery of new drugs. There's going to be presentations in relapse refractory myeloma of a new proteasome inhibitor by the name of carfilzomib, uh, which seems to have activity even in patients who have failed bortezomib and or lenalidomide. And there's, that, that is one of the key um, new developments in multiple myeloma that's very promising. Another new drug that I'm very particularly interested in is pomalidomide. Now this is a cousin of lenalidomide and thalidomide which uh, has been subjected to a phase two trial in, at the Mayo Clinic in relapse with patients. And we are finding almost a 60% response rate uh, with the combination of pomalidomide and low-dose dexamethasone and more importantly with very low toxicity. So I think carfilzomib and pomalidomide are going to be highly active new drugs that we're going to hear more about in the future. Um, in the newly diagnosed setting, there are going to be some really interesting studies coming out in the phase two and phase three setting. In the phase two setting, we have uh, a couple of three drug combinations that are generating interest. One is cyclophosphamide combined with lenalidomide and low-dose dexamethasone. That will be presented by my colleague Shaji Kumar at the Mayo Clinic. And Dr. Richardson will look at the novel combination of bortezomib plus lenalidomide dexamethasone, which appears to be highly active. Um, the future is to see if we can even incorporate alkylators into this mix so that you, you generate what I think would be a myeloma chop, where you put alkylators, immunomodulatory drugs, um, corticosteroids, as well as proteasome inhibitors together in the best possible combination. The evolution study has done that, and the, the results, the first results of the evolution trial will be presented here, uh, which uh, look at the four drug combination of cyclophosphamide, velcade, or bortezomib, lenalidomide, and dexamethasone. Uh, the phase three updates are, are going to be very interesting. Uh, Dr. Jesus San Miguel is going to present an updated analysis of the VISTA trial longer follow-up and perhaps three-year survival results uh, and this is going to be an eagerly awaited study. Uh, we are also going to probably have follow-up on the uh, uh, bortezomib thalidomide dex versus thalidomide dex trial conducted by the Italian group as well as the bortezomib dex versus VAD trial conducted by the IFM. So I'm looking forward to these uh, phase three updates. I will be presenting at a special symposium updated results of the ECOG E4A03 clinical trial as well. Um, many other uh, new drugs are, uh, are being developed and uh, tested and you're going to have early results on several drugs such as uh, heat shock protein inhibitors, HDAC inhibitors, uh, and, uh, and, and, and I think there's a lot of promise for patients with myeloma, either with the newly diagnosed disease or relapse refractory.